Definitely must have been good when he has to go back for a second lot. On our way to our new camp. And we had to pass Colton again. So we're heading out this dirt track on the way to Venus Bay Conservation Park. Free camp, just to see if we'd like to stay out here. It's a very corrugated road in, so I suggest you lower tyre pressures before you come in. Not like us. We didn't, but we definitely did on the way back out. Once we arrived, we decided we would spend at least one night here because we had braved that terrible road in. We spent the afternoon just checking out the rock ledge by the water's edge. It was very low tide when we got here. I can imagine it would be quite beautiful when the tide comes in. We were the only ones camped here the night that we decided to stay. So we had this beautiful place all to ourselves. So this evening's sunset was absolutely beautiful. I love it when the sun sets over the water. And then just as beautiful the next morning. This is sunrise. So we've woken up to a very chilly morning today here at Venus Bay Conservation Park. It um, sun's coming up. But I've even had to put the diesel heater on in a jumper. So I think it might be time to think about heading north soon. It's getting a bit cool down here in South Australia. So just heading out to our next camp now. Remember, if you're going over to Western Australia from here, you can't take your honey with you. So we're just walking up to Murphy's Haystacks. Just popped in here for a visit. You can camp here for $10 a night if you wish. Or it's $2 an adult entry to look at the haystacks because it's on private land. Or $5 for a family. Benities here. If you need them. It's a nice picnic area there, shelter with a couple of tables and chairs. At Murphy's Haystacks in South Australia. These are granite outcrops that are called Inselbergs boulders. Uh, they're formed with 1500 million years old. They're pink granite. Uh, as I said, they're 1500, the, the rock itself is 1500 million years old.
So we're just walking up to our second lot of rocks up here. Or what did you call them now? Inselbergs. Inselbergs. Granite outcrops. Because they come up from the ground. Is that right? Yeah, they come up through the ground. They're attached to rock, bedrock underneath. This is the second lot of rock formations at Murphy's Haystacks. As you can see, they're really closely grouped together. Walking between them, around them. Just walking between a couple of big ones. There's a uh, fairly tall. So just walking through the middle of the rocks here. The size of these rocks makes you feel very tiny. Just when you think you've seen most of them, come around the corner, there's another huge boulder. comes Larry, he's been over the other side. Very picturesque around here. I'm looking out at the moment to the farmland. You can just see through there. There's a lot more to see here than what I thought when you take your time to come all the way up the back. There's a lot more rocks to wander around with their own beauty.
So right back through there is where we started from. So there's heaps more rock formations than what I realised there was. Seems like the orange colouring appears to be on one side, mainly. The backs of these all look grey. How are you finding this, Larry? Yeah, good. It's a lot more here than what I thought. Yeah, I thought it was only a couple, but there's still more down over there in the background. So this colouring seems to be on one side of the rock. Is that the lichen? Yeah, that's the lichen. Of course, that's where there's to be more of the south side of it. The sun heats up the other side and dries it out. Yeah. Would have been better off to come through the fence down straight onto the bottom, I think. I think. What come in? Yeah, in front of that tent. So we've just set up camp at Wrighty's Bay View. It's a free camp on Baird Bay. Just enjoying a bit of relaxing time. Larry's trying his hand at a spot of fishing. He did just catch one, but it was too small, so it's gone to live another day. And just in this little spot here, we are the only ones. Further along the track where we came in. Back over there. Um, just see the top of a camper trailer so they were not there when we came in so there's somebody else here and as far as we can tell we're the only two here so we're not sure how long we'll be here for maybe just a few days maybe we'll ride our Easter here we're 30 minutes from Streaky Bay Sunrise at Baird Bay. Beautiful. Thanks for watching this episode. Join us next time where we venture around Baird Bay and the sights of Streaky Bay.